It's Coach Josh here from Training for Warriors Portland, and I want to share with you some ways to develop your upper body strength. And if you are new to the workout space, then you understand how important it is to be able to do a push-up. A push-up is one of the most valuable training tools you have. You can do it anywhere, use your own body, you can, um, you can advance it as much as you possibly want to because you can do so many cool things with the human body and, uh, uh, and it's something that you can do pretty much every day. Uh, but uh, a lot of times when you're doing the push-up, the hardest push-up is the first push-up that you get from the floor. So um, I'm gonna share with you some tips on how to get that first push-up, how to make it look good and then make it real easy to get stronger and stronger in that movement. So um, the first thing is, if you can't do a strong push-up from the floor, that's no problem. What you don't want to do is you don't want to start doing kneeling push-ups because you don't get to train your core as much. You don't get to use your upper and lower body together, which is one of the huge values of the push-up. So if I can't do a push-up from the floor, what I'll do first is I'll get an elevated position, in this case a, a tall box, and I'm going to you know, grip at the edge of the box here. I always want my fingers pointing away from my shoulders. That way I don't get out here and really sort of start to impinge my shoulder. But what I'm going to do is, I'm going to get into a straight line. I'm going to turn my body until I'm going to get into this nice high plank position. Shoes squeezed together, knees squeezed together, glutes on. I'm going to drop down. I'm going to touch the box. Boom. That's one. Keeping everything tight. Boom. Two. Tight. Three. Now, this is not as difficult as it is going from the floor, but I can do this. I can do your kitchen counter, your kitchen table, you know, your, your sofa. And as you get better and better at using your body together in a nice straight line, then you can move on down to the bench. So now I'm, I'm on my way down the floor. Maybe this is a low stool in my house, or this is something in my gym. It's, it's a little bit more difficult than that high box. I'm gonna come down, boom, boom. Same exact thing. Build up my confidence. If I can do a nice set of 10 or 12 from the bench, boom, move it back to the floor, no problem. So here, again, never sac sacrifice technique for speed or technique for intensity. So I always want to make sure I'm doing everything sharp, making it look good. Feet together, knees together, glutes on, and then sinking down to the floor, boom, down to the floor, excellent. So it's just a plank where I get to train my arms along with my abs. So, something you could do today is start on your kitchen counter and work your way down to the floor. And by the time you get all the way to the floor, gun show's coming out. All right, so get after your push-ups, get after your upper body strength. This is Coach Josh from Training for Warriors Portland helping you bring out the warrior within.